Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I would pull all my winter crochet garments out of my wardrobe and do a try on for you guys. So as you can see there is quite a big stack behind me and I am going to go through every single one of these and try them on. A lot of them I haven't worn in a really long time, especially because we've just had summer here in Australia and the weather is cooling down. So I thought this video could be fun to see all the crochet winter garments that I have in my wardrobe and maybe give you guys some inspiration if you are also coming into the cooler months. So if that is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. Okay, first up we have my Dear Debbie jumper. You may have seen this jumper before. It is the very first jumper that I ever designed. And if I come up close, you will be able to see that it's got some cute bobble detail. It's got some front post, back post detail. This pattern also comes in kid sizes. So if you're wanting to make one for the whole family, you definitely could. Now, I do have another one here in grey. I'm not going to try this on because it's pretty much exactly the same, just in a different colour. But I will give you guys a little up close look. But that is garment number one. I will also add that I am going to leave the links to the patterns for everything you see in today's video down in the description. So if you are interested in making any of these garments, please check out the description for the pattern links. Next up we have my Melbourne jumper. This is another one of my designs. It is just a super chunky ribbed jumper. Absolutely perfect for winter. I am actually thinking of doing a lighter version of this jumper this winter. So this one is super chunky and thick as you can tell, which is great if you live in like Antarctica or somewhere where it gets really, really cold. But here in Australia, it doesn't really get all that cold, I suppose, in winter in the grand scheme of things compared to a lot of other places. So it is a little bit warm, I find. So I am thinking of doing a lighter version this winter. So stay tuned for that. And I will, of course, keep you guys updated if and when that happens. But if you are interested in making this, the link will be in the description down below. Next up, we have my All Too Bell sweater. This is a brand new pattern that I'm working on at the moment. It is not yet released, but it will be out really, really soon, hopefully within the next month, just in time for winter in Australia. So as you may be able to tell by the name, it does have a bell sleeve, All Too Bell, bell sleeve. If you have to explain the joke, it's probably not a great joke. But anyway, this is my newest design. I absolutely love it. It's made using the linen stitch. And you can, of course, make it in two tones like I have here, or you could just do it in one solid color. I am currently working on one in just one solid color at the moment. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm not sure what I'll like better, if I'll like the two tone better or just the one solid color better, but we will find out. Again, this pattern has not yet been released, so I won't be able to leave the link down below, but just keep an eye on all my social media channels because as soon as it is, I will be sure to post there. And if I remember, I will come back to this video and add in the link, but I may forget. We'll see how we go. <laughs> but that is my All Too Bell sweater. Next up, we have my Charlie Cardi pattern. Now, this is something that I designed for the very first issue of Homespun's Crochet Beginners and Beyond magazine. So again, I won't be able to leave you the link for this pattern until about June or July, because technically the magazine owns it for the first 12 months. So I think it's June or July when I get my ownership back and then I can of course, give you guys the link to the pattern. But basically, this is just a super lightweight, beautiful cardigan, perfect for those transition seasons, so like spring and autumn, or if you do live somewhere that doesn't get super duper cold in winter, then this is perfect. I finished it off with a big button here for closure. It is cropped, so perfectly paired with high-waisted jeans, which are my favorite. And it is pretty much all made in the half double crochet. So super duper easy, very beginner friendly. 
Um, but as soon as this is available, I will, of course, try and remember to come back and link it in the description down below. But it is called the Charlie Cardi, so keep an eye on all my social media because, again, I will let you guys know on there once it's available. Next up, of course, we have everybody's favorite pattern. Everyone loves this pattern. It is my Millennial Jumper, and it is, of course, available on every platform that I sell patterns on. It is my best selling pattern. It is what literally allowed me to start designing full time. So I am so, so, so grateful for this pattern. I know it sounds stupid, but this pattern has literally changed my life. So I cannot be more grateful. If you aren't familiar with this pattern, this is my millennial jumper. It is a cropped, oversized, beautiful jumper. Perfect for winter. It's got the cow neck to keep your neck nice and warm. It is crocheted from the top down in the lemon peel stitch. It's got a puff sleeve, cuffs around the sleeves and another bit of like ribbing waistband around the waist. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I do have another version here to show you guys. This was my very first sample of my Millennial Jumper. I crocheted this one in the round, so that's why it looks a little bit different because I wasn't turning at the end of each round. So kind of interesting to see what the difference is. You can see here that this jumper doesn't have a lot of texture, even though I use the same stitch, but just the simple act of turning at the end of each round can change the look of something so drastically. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, this is my very first sample of my Millennial Jumper. It's definitely not perfect. This one is definitely much better. <laughs> but we've got to start somewhere, right? And usually with all my designs, I do have like a dodgy first sample that I came up with. Anyway, once again, the link to this pattern will be in the description down below. Next, we have one of my most favorite things that I've ever made. This is the Balloon Stitch Maxi Cardigan by Cassie Ward. It is in her book called My Crochet Wardrobe. Again, I'll leave the link down below. But this is the most beautiful cardigan and I don't wear it enough. I really need to dig it out of my wardrobe and start wearing it this winter because I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is made fully in the balloon stitch, as you can see. I opted to do each panel in a different color, but you could of course just make this all in one solid color. But I absolutely love this pattern so, so much. It is absolutely amazing. I'll try and get far enough back so you can see the full length, but stunning, absolutely stunning. Could not recommend this pattern enough. I lost for words. I don't know what to say. You guys can see it with your own eyes. <laughs> okay, almost done. This is my Life of the Cardi pattern. You guys may have seen this before. It is basically just a long cardigan made in this stitch pattern. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> Um, it's got some front post, back post in there for some texture. It's got these like lace details. I don't know what you would call it, but this cardigan is actually super versatile. So I have made this one in acrylic yarn, but you could also make it in a cotton yarn for summer. It would be perfect to wear to the beach over the top of your bikinis or your swimsuit. So definitely super versatile. Again, it's a great one for those transition seasons because it's not super heavy and warm. And of course it does have those holes in them. So again, perfect for spring and autumn when it's not super duper cold. I do have another one here, which is pretty much exactly the same. This is just made in a different color. I'll give you another close up of the stitch pattern. But yeah, this is my life of the Cardi pattern. Again, link will be in the description. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have the Not For Jogging Joggers by Taylor at Notorious Knits. I was luckily, luckily? I was lucky enough to be a tester for these joggers. Um, basically, they're pants. They're amazing, but I'm gonna have to change the camera angle so you guys can see. So bear with me one moment. Are these not the most amazing pants that you have ever seen? 
Sorry my head's cut off, but I needed you guys to be able to see these in full, even though you can't really. But these are absolutely stunning. They have cuffs around the ankle, a little waistband, a drawstring, which has come in handy because I've lost a bit of weight since I made these. So they are a little bit big for me, but I actually love that they're big because they're so comfortable. I am definitely gonna be wearing these a lot during winter. If you are a knitter, there is also a knitted version of this pattern available. I will leave that in the description down below as well. But this wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. If you would like to join me in the Talk Yarny To Me Facebook group, I would love to see you there. There will be a link down below. But until next time, guys, I don't know why I'm so puffed. <laughs> These try-on videos are bloody exhausting. Taking clothes off, putting them back on, my hair's a mess. Ugh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.